What is going on guys? Skip here and welcome back to another episode in our Road to Glory series. Today we're back with some Red Bull cricket as we head back to the Blunston Arena to take on WA in the final round of the Sheffield Shield. If you have joined us over the journey, you would have seen that she's been a tight one throughout. But if we get the chocolates today, that should just cement us on top for a home final down under. The RDB himself, well, we have taken wickets along the way. We haven't really got stuck in with the Fifers, but I tell you what, we're probably due a big innings, and that is what the aim is today. Strap yourselves in, ladies and gents. Grab yourself a beer and enjoy it. This is a career of Robin Bank. We're back at the Blunston for hopefully the second last time this season. Nathan Ellis is going to share the new ball with the RDB today as we welcome the men in from the West. The wicket, well, that looks great green as always. Big Malta and Wayno out there as the coin goes up and they call tails. We know it never fails, but on this occasion, the RDB gets the luck and we aren't going to hesitate to have a bowl. Let's see if we can skittle this mob. We've got the conditions we need. Let's go. The umpires are out tall Malto, Hench Malto and I'll tell you what, a decent looking lineup for WA. Three slips, a gully, no cover, no hesitation for First ball is going to be falling at the body and it's going to get driven to mid on for no run. We have been really good at home. I'm going to take a slip out, put him at cover, get back to length and that ball's going to hoop. Once again, on this wicket, you've got to be full. Give the ball every chance as we do that and Bancroft's back. One of the form batsmen of the competition taken on probably the competition's best bowler. Well, not statistical-wise, but you know what I mean. We're in for the last of our first. There's the inducker. Bancroft's back. She's a dot baller maiden over in WA. And none for none. Our first look at the left-handed Whiteman. We've been good to lefties recently, as that straightens nicely. It's more or less the away swinger that just catches the feather. Oi! We're back to being patient, staying on a dime, looking good. More or less the cross seamer that surprises and we play angles again. This one gets whipped down to fine leg. One and one bounce. The white man wants to go leg side. We hang this out at fifth stump line. This time he punches through cover. Doesn't get all of it, but enough for a single. The 10 runs for no wicket. The last of the fifth is a short one. Bancroft takes it on. Once again, doesn't get all of it. It skims along the carpet, though. Is it going to go to the fence for four? It doesn't. They keep it at two, five. A done, and WA at 12 for none. Well, there we go. Nathan Ellis gets the breakthrough, and they're now one down. Don't know if I should bring Gully to fifth slip. Oh, my God, man. Seems pretty set just sitting in his crease and defending. We'll try the off cutter. How was that? Yes, there we go. She nips back. Wayno doesn't hesitate. You can go and have an early shower, you goose. That is as good as it gets. Well, two for 16 as Jeff Hardy's brother rolls into the middle. But I tell you what, we have got this ball talking early doors. Check this one out. We got him with the off cutter. Did it nip a little further? No, in fact, it straightened up and that is as salmon trout as it gets we play mind games we get the job done and there we have it one for eight off 3.5 as hardy faces his first ball that's full and he whips one and one bounce to forward square seven are done and it stays at 16 for two this off cutter is slowly starting to become our best friend the lbw's as well we absolutely love as we get driven through the v from hardy we don't mind that do they come back for three they don't Another steady over as we come in for the last of our fifth. We get the short one in. We hit the temple of Jeff Hardy. Close out the night. Then she's 20 for two. Well, Nathan Ellis has picked up another one. And the alarm bells are ringing for WA at the moment. What a start. Not only do we partnership bat, but we are partnership bowling. Oh, how is that? How is that? How is that? Oh, maybe outside the line. So Hilton Cartwright a little indecisive. We give him the off cutter now. He's back and trapped. Well played. We have a quick little spell. Change ends. Got Molto now. 33 for three. Half a tank of petrol. And the first ball is nice. You'd think that this spell would only be a couple of overs as we go short and at the body. The last of our first over back. And the seventh beats Cartwright all ends up. 
The length is just spot on here. Oh, there's a leading edge. Well, Bald Turner becoming a little bob down at the moment as he works this through mid-wicket. I tried to throw that about fifth or sixth stump. It didn't work, and we're going to concede a boundary. It was just the two overs. We have another shorter spell at 67 for four now. 25 overs in. We've got a left-hander in, and he's back defending the first. He's going to take off as well, and he gets home safe. We stay at Malto's end as well. Oh, what is this? Tippity run. A rather watchful cart, right? Five dot balls, last of the tenth. He drives, finds forward point, 28 are done, and she's 75 for four. And once again, another two over spell, and we're into it for the 44th. It's 110 for six. What a start this has been as our first ball gets worked to forward square. We get a little bit of juice back, 10.2, driven. You're going to take the single. He's out. He's out. He's out. He's out. He's out. He is out. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Thank you, Molto. Well, you just shake your head. As soon as you see the animation come up that they're running, it's just like, what are you doing? He's caught three meters out of his crease. We're not even going to mess around with it. Cameron Gannon, you don't want to be there. Maddie Kelly, neither do you. 111 for seven. Can you get yourself excited for it? I don't know. We'll roll in. Can we hit the stumps? We can't. Well, you put your head in your hand and you just shake it. Oh, he did it catch some glove. How was that? The cart ride's going to have to do all the heavy lifting here. We go short. He takes it on and almost drags it onto the stumps. We change of plan. We're going to go short to cart right. Catcher comes in deep backwards square and he's getting forward and defending. You know this bloke likes to take the short ball on. We've got a catching third man as we're in, and he's back defending again. No need to run that plan anymore. He is out. Got too scared, and away he goes as we hit Moody in the ribs. So the innings comes to an end. Just the one wicket as Wardy picks up a fourth ball duck, and we need to get into our work here. It looks like it's 191 for four. We'll just confirm with the scorecard 134 all out wa in 58 overs boy oh boy we've just started day two riley meredith nathan alice picking up three everyone else chipping in in what has been a good toss to win we pick up play in the 52nd we're not going to face first up and i'll tell you what we don't mind that at all as cameron gannon rolls in for the third ball of his ninth over it's 52.2 overs deep. We get the first ball on the hip. We're going to whip her down to fine leg. Get ourselves off the mark and start the runs. Well, bog standard. We've already lost a wicket. We're five down now. Morris is coming around. The wicket gets short and we try and whack him over the fence. Well, this is going to be an interesting battle. Look at the field they've got in place for us. Short ball, oi. That's wild. And then just like that, he's back over the wicket. He's got three for 39 as we open our hands up. We've got no catches in, no third man, no worries, and we pick up a boundary. Well, it hasn't been his best over, but he's only conceded the four. Is he short again? No, he's not. We drive it to cover. Dot ball, 54 done, and it's 201 for five. We know Moody's just going to be on that line and length just like that. We are in a good position. We can trust Nathan Alice as we get forward and press to extra cover. There's no fielder there. We'll come back for a couple. Good running. The last of the 56. There's no cover. No worries. We will smoke that right through the region. It was a green ball. Is it going to go all the way? Best result. We come back for three. Oh, thank you very much. WA known for their fast bowlers. I don't know if they've got a spinner. It might be Ashton Turner as we slash to gully. No run. Short cover goes in. We'll stay in the V. Yep, just like that. Don't get all of it, but enough for one. More of a ring field. Man at mid-off is on it, and we're just going to tap and run. Very slow, the dive is good. It's not bad from WA here. Just trying to get us in that mid-on, mid-off channel, but if you're going to throw up half volleys like that, we will take them every single day of the week. Can we come back for three on the arm? We're going to try, and we do. Another fast bowler into the attack. Jeff Hardy. This bloke's a little sharper. Oh, and we've sneaked it to third slip. We've been dropped. Thank you very much. Will give us a replay of that. It was the outswing. I knew he was going to be sharp. Missed the timing straight off the edge. Two hands. Nah. Hits him on the wrist. Sorry about that, brother. You've given us a life.
All catches win matches. That may have just got WA back in. We'll get forward and defend the next. Well, Jeff Hardy would be pulling his hair out as we're forward. We press. We're going to get out the blocks and take the single. A direct hit would have had us. Can we come back for overthrows? Yes, we can. Just keep it at two. Might have to just try and guide him down to third. Yep, just like that. Thank you very much. No need to full-on cover drive him. Is it going to go into the fence? It is. Oh, yes. When it rains, it pours. They bring another one in. Another half volley. Can we split the gap? We can't. Nathan Alice caught halfway down. So Alice out six down. Lead of 91. Short ball that we play in. Miss two. Mm. And this might just be where we get some short pitch bowling. Moody goes length and we press to mid off. Still no catches. He's got a leg slip. And we don't care about that. Give me another boundary through third man. If that's what we need to do, then let's do it. As Moody's in short ball, we smash this to forward square. We're going to get down the other end for one. We keep the strike. Good cricket. Catches back in place. Genuine half volley. That is absolutely murdered. Why are we running? I don't know. Shot of the episode, you bet. They set the field for half volley bowling. I mean, look at that. We still find gaps. I don't think I've got all of it. We come back for two. We're going to Take it on Freeman's home. Lead 103. It's been a patient innings as we drive to cover. We've got to get out the blocks and take it on. Overthrows. No. 65 are done and it's 238 for six. No more Jeff Hardy into the attack. Short ball. Yes. Oh, and we're slashing through Gully. Fielder doesn't want a bar of it. Give me four more. But we start to launch. Short ball. Oh, we have tuck legs slip around the corner. Given the half volley, we'll take the... S no, there's no third man. Thank you. We will take a couple more and the runs continue to pile on. A 10 away. Short ball lifted. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I tried to cut that, but we'll take the back foot drive over mid off. How that's got there, I don't know. And it's a noey. Well, we weren't 10 away. We were 11. Now we're 7 and we're slashing to Gully for a dot. Last ball of Hardy's over. She's been a long one as he goes short. We can't get down the other end. Once again, we fail to keep the strike, and Callie's going to come round the wicket. We last longer than one ball round the wicket. Does he go short again? He does. We get the top edge over the top. Is it going to go for six? No, it's a boundary. 68 are done. It's 256 for seven. 47. Maddie Callie in length ball. We open the hands up to it. Get a good set of timing beans on those. Can we come back for three on the arm? The non striker says yes. And there you go. The RDB's got 50. Ha 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 ha. Well, superbly batted once again. Lead of 130 as he gets a short one and cops that in the face. I think it might be time to tee off now. Oh, yes. Yes and yes. Does it go all the way for six? It doesn't. The back round the wicket, Kelly goes. Short ball. Yep. Oh, another top edge. That's going to go over the boundary this time. No, it falls short by an inch. So Morris gets his fourth foreman out on the boundary. It's a decent run up. He goes short. We slash. Gully doesn't want it again. And there's another boundary. Well, two overs, two wickets. These tail enders can't get through one ball. Lomo wants five. We want to send him over the ropes. Carlisle's got through three balls. Leg slip goes back in. Oh, he's done us. He's done us. He's done us. That is called living inside your head rent free he got us with the double bluff lbw you can't shy away from that and wayno gives him well he deserved his five for lomo oh that is the definition of lbw no complaints for my in there thought it was going to be a short one i mean they've bowled it all day until that five for 48 fair play to your son and that is how we end up all out for 277 it seemed like a lot more than that webster jewel and debank all getting at 60s but not enough to push the score to 400 we have a lead of 143 and ladies and gents we will continue this one in the next we are going to leave it there for today's episode if you have enjoyed it make sure you hit that thumbs up button leave a cheeky comment down below and make sure you swing over and catch us in one of our live streams as well but until the next time look after yourselves and those around you and i'll catch us in the next one